hey guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the title today i'm going to show you guys how i do one of my favorite all natural hair masks the fenugreek seed hair mask i've done this mask a few times guys and i'm absolutely obsessed with it fenugreek is a plant that's native to asian and mediterranean countries but it's widely used people usually use their seeds or use their seeds in a powder form some people even use their leaves there's so many ways fenugreek could be used Due to its impressive benefits, fenugreek is highly favored amongst Indian cultures. Indian women have been using fenugreek in their diets and as a staple part of their hair care routine since ancient times. They call it the magical seed. Fenugreek is known to enhance hair growth, reduce hair loss and shedding, treat dandruff and many other scalp issues, strengthen the hair and add shine, and also prevent premature grain. There's many ways fenugreek can be used on the hair. You could simply just make a fenugreek spray like a leave-in conditioner which I've done before and I absolutely love it or you can make a fenugreek hair oil which is one of the most popular ways to use fenugreek in the hair but today I'm going to show you guys how to make a fenugreek hair mask and here are all the ingredients that you'll need I have some organic fenugreek powder some organic raw and filter honey some essential oil peppermint and of course pure magic naturals hair oil so first you'll need a bowl with a spoon I prefer to use a plastic spoon and bowl and it also comes with a top that way you can use it later on and store it in the fridge it's good for up to three to four days also that's what I love about this so if you want to use it twice a week that's great so first I'm going to go ahead and take my fenugreek powder which I got off of Amazon I will have a link down below in the description box make sure you guys get organic fenugreek and I'm going to go ahead and open it and as you can see it is a yellow color and the texture is just like flour so it's very soft and it's very powdery as you can see it's kind of flying everywhere when i poured it because it's so soft and fenugreek seeds have a very soft nutty type of smell some people like to compare it to maple syrup it does have a little sweet aroma to it but i actually love it it's not strong at all it's very soft and it smells really good so i'm just going to go ahead and add some water i'm using spring water of course do not use any tap water for this um, and i'm just going to go ahead and mix it until i get the consistency that i'm looking for i want it to look like a hair mask like a hair paste kind of i don't want it to be too thick this time I noticed I poured a little more fenugreek powder than I used last time so I went ahead and switched out my spoon for a fork just to mash it up a little more because it was a little too thick I wanted to give more of a hair mask texture so I'm going to go ahead and add my other ingredients in so of course I'm going to take my pure magic natural scalping hair strengthening oil blend which has grapeseed oil sunflower oil avocado oil argan oil sweet almond oil peppermint oil and nettle oil so it's a seven oil blend which adds so much love to this hair mask So now I'm going to go ahead and add in my raw organic unfiltered honey. Honey is great for adding and restoring moisture to the hair follicles, which helps smooth the hair shaft and that's really good for adding shine to dry, frizzy, damaged hair. And I love to add honey to any natural hair mask that I do just because it's such a great boost to your hair mask. So this is the texture we're looking for guys. I went ahead and added a little more water. I'm not using any specific measurements for this. I'm really just eyeballing it. So now I'm going to go ahead and take some peppermint oil. You can use any essential oil of your choice. Pure Magic Naturals hair oil also has peppermint in it. So this hair mask just smells so good. Peppermint oil is actually one of my favorite essential oils because it improves blood circulation to the scalp, which enhances hair growth. So this is the texture that we're looking for, this soft, buttery texture, and it just smells so good, guys. So <laughs> my hair is a hot mess. I need to wash my hair before we go ahead and apply this mask. You could do it in any order that you want. You could apply the mask and wash your hair after, but I want to put this mask on freshly cleaned hair. I haven't washed my hair in about five or six days it's been almost a week so i rather apply the mask onto freshly clean hair so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and be right back 
so I went ahead and shampooed and conditioned my hair. I wanted to do this hair mask on freshly washed hair just because I rather do that. I always do my hair mask on freshly washed hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hair with some water because it did dry a little bit since I've gotten out the shower. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair into sections so we can start applying our fenugreek seed hair mask. And I'm just combing through it really quickly, making sure all the knots and tangles are out. So when I comb my hair, I like to comb my hair starting from the bottom and making my way up to the roots. You never want to start at your scalp and just pull the comb through because that is how you rip your hair out, unless your hair is straightened. So now that my hair is sectioned off, I'm going to take my fenugreek hair mask, which is so buttery and it just smells so good. And I'm going to take a nice handful amount and start to apply that to the lengths of my hair and to my scalp. So after I apply the fenugreek hair mask to each section of my hair, I'm just gonna go ahead and braid that up just to lock in that moisture and move on to the next section and repeat the same steps. And I'm making sure to apply that to my scalp as well because fenugreek has many great benefits for the scalp. And I'm just making sure to get that all over my hair. So I'm just massaging that into my scalp, making sure everything is distributed nice and evenly. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my last section and to finish applying this hair mask. And guys, you can already see all of that shine and moisture in my hair. I am so obsessed with it. This is one of the reasons why I just love doing this fenugreek hair mask. My hair is always so shiny and moisturized and soft afterwards. And fenugreek is very high in protein and iron, so it's really good for those with damaged hair, heat damaged hair, or anybody who's transitioning. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up into a ponytail and go ahead and put my deep condition cap on. I like to do this hair mask once to twice a week. Like I said, it can be stored in the fridge, guys, for up to three to four days. So it is very useful for using more than once. My deep condition cap is a little too big. I accidentally bought the extra large ones, but it's cool, we could just tie it up. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a scarf on just to make sure I lack in that heat and I like to leave this mask on for 30 minutes to an hour. So it's about an hour later, I went ahead and rinsed out my hair mask. I rinsed with hot water and then cold water and I did have to rinse my hair about two to three times just to make sure the fenugreek was all out. But guys, every time I do this hair mask, I notice an immediate difference in my hair. It's so manageable and soft and shiny and silky. I am just so obsessed with this hair mask. Please don't forget to leave a comment down below because I will respond. And tell me about your experience with using fenugreek or how you usually make your and Greek mask and you know give me some tips and tricks too. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram as well. And thank y'all for tuning in. I love my hair so much right now. It smells so good and it feels so good. I'm obsessed. I'll see y'all on my next upload. Mwah.